A man attacked a stranger with a hammer in downtown Louisville. As WDRB's Christy Batista tells us, corrections officers saw it happen and ran to help the victim. Christy? You guys, it happened here in Jefferson Square Park yesterday evening. One of the corrections officers was actually up in the break room and saw it all happen from there. Here's a look at surveillance video from the lobby. The victim walks inside and asks for help. Less than a minute later, that officer who saw the attack runs downstairs, grabs another officer and runs out the door. A third officer got some bandages and wrapped his head to stop the bleeding before EMS got there. The victim told them he was hit in the head with a hammer by someone he doesn't even know. Officers say that man was 39-year-old Lonnie Brand. Those officers who ran out the door went up to Brand to try to arrest him. That's when they say he punched one of them in the face. The other tried to use his pepper spray but didn't hit Brand. They ended up chasing him before he stopped traffic on 5th Street, and that's where they were able to arrest him. Many times they intervene inside the jail to protect people, and no one ever sees it, no one ever knows it, uh, because it's inside of a jail. Uh, but, but occasionally something will happen outside, and our officers do, do great work when they're called upon. Brand is charged with two counts of assault and fleeing and evading police. His bond was set at $100,000, but this is the second random hammer attack in downtown Louisville in less than six months. Back in October, a man attacked a stranger just a few blocks from here outside of the Brown Theater. He hit him several times and left him for dead. The victim in that incident was hospitalized and ended up having to have several procedures for head trauma. The condition of the man who was assaulted here in Jefferson Square Park yesterday is not known. Reporting with photojournalist Neil Johnson, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News. Back to you.